Okay, so you need to get yourself unstuck or help someone else. Keep in mind that the passenger usually hooks up the winch. Make sure your passenger knows how to do this before you start a trail ride. First, grab your gloves, a tree saver strap, de-shackle, line weight, and the winch remote control. Plug in the winch's remote control and put your gloves on. Loose fitting leather palm gloves work best. Then, wrap the remote control cord around the mirror to keep it away from the ground or tires and hand it to the driver. Determine which direction the truck needs to go to get unstuck. Turn the lever on the winch to free spool and pull the winch line towards the tree or vehicle you intend to use as an anchor. Locate a large living tree or vehicle to use as an anchor point. The anchor point needs to be at least two to three Jeep lengths away in order to pull the truck far enough forward to get unstuck. When using a tree as an anchor, place the tree saver strap around the tree trunk near the ground. This is the strongest part of the tree and the least likely place to do damage to the tree's bark. Have the looped ends of the strap facing the winch. The round part of the de-shackle needs to go through the strap's eyes, leaving the pin available for the winch hook or thimble. Connect the hook or thimble to the shackle. If using a hook, make sure the open part of the hook is facing up. This is done so that if the hook breaks, the energy is directed towards the ground. Then, screw the pin back in, finger tight. Unscrew the pin a quarter turn to prevent it from binding. Lay a winch line weight across the winch line if you have one. If not, a jacket, towel, or similar item will work. Then, go back to the winch and turn the handle back to engaged. Once the truck is unstuck, the driver will use the winch control remote to re-spool the winch cable. Feed the winch line in evenly from side to side on the drum, just like you would your garden hose at home. Finally, disconnect the remote control and put it and your gloves within easy reach in case you need them again. Winch signals and safety tips. The winch only has the advertised pull rating on the lowest layer of cable. Always leave at least five to nine wraps on the drum so the line does not come unwound from the drum. Wrap the winch line neatly on the drum to prevent binding. If a winch line is pulled down in between the layer below, it will bind and you may not be able to unspool the cable when you need it most. Be aware that fast winches will run on for a while after you release the trigger. This would be dangerous if your hands are not way back. Never walk across or straddle a cable. It could become taut and hurt you. Step on the winch line if you must cross over it. Keep spectators very far back when the winch is in use at least 150 feet, which is the length of the longest winch lines. Be sure that the driver and anyone helping to operate the winch knows the common hand signals. Winch in, winch out, stop, bump trigger, hands in winch. A good tip is to operate the winch periodically at home to be sure the solenoid is working properly. Steel winch cable is abrasion resistant and cheap, but it is heavy and stores more energy or whip when it breaks. It also kinks, twists, and frays easily. Winch rope is easily abraded and needs protection when rubbing on anything. It is more expensive too, but it is very light and is considered safer because it stores less energy and does not whip as much when it breaks. You can also tie a knot in a broken winch rope and still have 80% of its original strength. Winch ropes can be spliced and repaired. A winch in trained hands is a very powerful and very useful tool. Be safe and have fun. Music